Hey guys, how you doing? This is St. Wolven, and today we are going to talk about screen tearing and how to stop it. Basically, what is screen tearing? Your GPU is not in sync with the refresh rate of your monitor. Since that's the case, sometimes you're going to see dual frames, which will cause kind of like a tear across the screen. I'll put an example around here. And that's very annoying. <laughs> the reason being, A, you never want to play your games with your screen like that. It just makes it look ugly and no one wants to see their games ugly. And B, if you're recording something, you will see the screen tear. <laughs> so that is not ideal at all because you do not want to see screen tearing in your games. Some people say that this actually happens because Oh yeah, my computer is making more frames per second than what my monitor can handle. And that's not entirely true. It's just more noticeable. How do we stop it? There is a numerous amount of ways to stop it. The most popular one is getting a FreeSync monitor with an AMD Radeon or a G-Sync monitor with an NVIDIA. That really depends on what your graphics card is, I mean, if I have an NVIDIA, the most ideal situation here is me finding a monitor that has G-Sync. This is the most effective way to get rid of screen tearing. But not everyone has money to buy a new monitor. So the alternatives are different forms of V-Sync or Enhance Sync as you may call it in AMD. These are options that are very easily activated on your computer and it can significantly reduce screen tearing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. so. Let's go here and let's go to control panel. Here I'm getting NVIDIA control panel, but we're just going to go to control panel, the general one. And you're going to see the option of NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to press that. I will show how it works with AMD in a moment. Okay, so here you're going to see 3D settings and you're going to see manage 3D settings. What will we do in this case? We just go to manage 3D settings. And we're going to see a bunch of different options you can see here. There is an option, for example, to max your frame rate to a certain amount. I'm not going to do that. And there's also the option to enable vertical sync, also known as V-Sync. Now, there are many different options for V-Sync on NVIDIA GPUs. Adaptive V-Sync basically means that when your computer goes above 60 hertz, in my case, the GPU will go a little slower to be able to match the hertz of your monitor. But when it goes below 60 FPS, which is what it, my monitor can handle, it'll turn itself off so that the GPU won't go too slow and you'll end up getting a very choppy game. This is recommended for computers that kind of move a little bit, like can't keep a steady maybe 60 FPS in some games or above it. So that's why we use Adaptive V-Sync. It's not necessary to use Adaptive V-Sync if, for example, you have a computer that goes way above your refresh rate. Let's say you have, I don't know, you're playing and you have a constant 120 frames per second. In that case, there's no need to turn on adaptive V-Sync. You can just turn on the regular one and you're good. Adaptive half refresh rate basically means that the GPU, instead of capping at 60, it's capping at 30. The other option is fast sync. Basically what this does is it makes sure that the monitor does not draw any frames that it's not ready to draw. So for some people, that's the best option because it simply eliminates screen tearing entirely because it's not trying to do more than it can, it's literally just doing what it can. So that may be the best case for some people, for others it may be terrible, so you need to kind of experiment with these and see what's the best for your scenario and for your build. In the case of AMD, all you would have to do to be able to turn these on is go to Radiant Settings and under the Gaming tab, select Global Settings. You would look for the option that says, look for vertical refresh, and click it. After that, you're going to see kind of like a sub menu. What you're going to go ahead and do is just press enhanced sync. You can do this individually by each game. That really depends on you. And this is basically the way you're going to find all the other options that AMD has to offer. And to be really honest, they're pretty similar to NVIDIA's. So it's not that different. So guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single weekend and it's usually about tech or gaming. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.